97 here with another YouTube tutorial. I'll be showing you guys how to apply effects to your videos in Final Cut Pro 10 with the newest update of 10.0.7. So all you gotta do is go and go to File, Import, and Media. Now the thing you will notice is it's gonna open a new window. It will say Media Import uh, on the top uh, top left. It will say Cameras, Devices, and Favorites. Uh, depending where you have your videos. Just go to uh, the uh, place where you need to find it. So in my case, it's desktop, YouTube clips. Uh, I believe it's uh, let's see. Oh, it's this one, and it gives you a preview right here, and you can just skim through the video. Uh, it, skimming is just you know, skimming, which you just move your cursor uh, in the video to uh, apply it, or you can also play the video. Yeah, is... So you go to import selected, you can do add to existing effect or event or create a new event. I'm just gonna add existing. Uh, you can make sure audio is checked analyzing for fixed audio problems because you might have uh, clipping or popping sounds and click import. Uh, once you're here, it I don't know, it will load the uh, waveform in your video here and just simply just drag and drop it. Uh, now if you don't have skimming allowed, it's because you don't have this checked. <laughs> now you do. So just uncheck that because I don't, I'm talking so I don't want to skim through while I'm talking. But that's uh, how to import it. Uh, in 10.7, uh, if you go to the right here where it says the share options, this is new also. It says share project. Uh, I think the the buttons look different because of the new Retina display for the new MacBooks. So if you go to the effects tools, which should be, I believe it's this one. Yep, effects. The first uh, button right here next to the camera. Here it'll say videos. Uh, video with the effects you can insert. Uh, audio and video so we can do magic bullet looks and magic bullet mojo do not come included you have to buy this separate I have but uh, just it will automatically put it into your Final Cut Pro and it does cost a lot of money to uh, purchase it but if you go to basics you can uh, skip look through all of these they have a lot I'm not gonna go through all of them but you can apply some really cool uh, stuff to it um, in this case, I'm gonna apply, uh, vintage, or, no, not vintage, uh, let's see, well, here we go, vignette, that's what I was gonna say, so you just simply click and drag it to your video, and now it'll apply it. Now, you will see this weird looking thing here, this is because you can, uh, move it to where you wanna, uh, vignette, or move your effects tools. Now, if you just click this right here, whoops, sorry, hold on, let's see if I can do this. So, yeah, wait, this is a little, I haven't been using these effects for quite a while. Oh, there you go, so you just click on the, uh, the outside of it, or just, yeah, you click this white bar right here, and this allows you to, uh, to how, to adjust the effects. So I'm gonna just leave it like that. So when you click play, oh guys, it is speaking fun. It's gonna leave this uh, vignette effect on there. Uh, except it's better works for videos. Uh, if you're outside filming, this would look better. But since it's my desktop, it's not gonna look the best. Uh, so to remove the effect, uh, all you gotta do is you wanna go to the this button right here. It should also be the inf uh, info tab, and it will say effects, and it will be highlighted blue. So if you click that, it's gonna be gone, and then you won't have that anymore. So that's one way. Uh, the other way is to, if you if it's blue, you can just go right here and reset perimeter, and this will reset everything that's been added, uh, which is pretty cool. But to take it off, just click this blue uh, button right there, and that should be to apply effects. This, so leave a like, comment below, guys, uh, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, see you on my next video. Peace.